<laughs> Good afternoon, people, and welcome back to my channel. It's China Doll. So I'm go here with my friend Bao, and we're gonna have lunch at this new food hall, which is right in front of me. It's called the Great Southern um, Box Company. Just opened up maybe a couple weeks ago, and I like the fact that it has a lot of like outdoor seating here, but then they also have indoor seating, and they have like nine different food vendors. So we're gonna go check it out and have lunch here. When you guys first walk in, they have a center bar right here, but then all around is like different food vendors. So they have Cuban, and then they have Indian, Brazilian, Jamaican. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. So what I'm gonna eat for lunch is this place called Braza. It's a Brazilian steakhouse, and I'm gonna be trying the uh, pecan fries. Uh, Bao wants to go get Indian food, so I'm gonna show you guys that when I get over. There. Okay, so Bao decided to get the Indian platter, which has everything: the naan bread, the rice. I think that is tiki masala or butter chicken and some dessert egg. Alright guys, so this is my dish. I just got my steak medium and then it comes with fries and um, um sauce and I don't remember what it is. But... And then I end up getting some uh, mango lassi drink from the Indian place where Bao got his food from. So we'll see how this is. So we decided to make a trip at the bar. This is a look at all the cocktails. They got mocktails, they got wine, and they got beer. All of must be ran out. So we decided yeah, to get the uh, snap what about pea mojito, bread? which is snap pea, lime soda, and rum. Basil hand? Oh, really? Yeah. What park are you going to today? Universal? Yeah, yeah Universal. Universal? Yeah, yeah. Wow. What's your favorite ride over there? What do you like to do? Uh, we're checking out the new Dreams Work plan. What is it? We're checking out the new Dreams Work plan. Mm, nice. Have you heard of it? Yeah. Uh, it's just open. It's, it's more for the kids area. It's like a splash pad. Okay. Uh, it has a uh, track. Have you been to? Ah, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you pay for a ticket to send the kids, right? <laughs> that would be hilarious. Like, move aside, kid. <laughs> <laughs> you just got like little splash. Right. Exactly. Like, Look at this guy. <laughs> You'll probably uh, make them rethink how they build the wall. Exactly. Yeah. Cheers. Exactly. They think they're like, who's I do this? <laughs> this is a cool thing, guys. So right across where we came from, the Great Southern Box Food Hall, um, they have the parking garage, which is nice because you know it keeps your car cool from the summer heat and it's free parking. So that's pretty neat. Okay guys, so we just finished having lunch at the food hall. Um, <clears throat> Bao wanted to see how it was compared to the Indian food we had in London. And he says the one in London is way better than this one. But he still wanted, he was still craving Indian food. But then I had the uh, steak and fries. But it was okay, it wasn't the best. But I just wanted to try because it's like a new thing here in Orlando. But now guys, we are now leaving and going to Universal because I want to go check out the new Dreams Work Land. Because first, I couldn't go in because they were only doing pass holder previews and you had to have a reservation to get in. I couldn't get a reservation. But now it's soft opening, so they're allowing like anybody to walk in. So we're gonna go check that out. Okay guys, so we're now finally about to enter into Dreams Works Land. I'm so excited now that, you know, it, they're in soft opening. Like they're allowing anybody to walk in now, so this is sweet. So the first thing you see on the left is Gabby's dollhouse. If you want to do meet and greet, take photos with her. Um, and then they also have a swamp meet on the right, where you can meet Donkey, Shrek, and Fiona. But that line looks pretty long. Um, see, like the sign says, this land is in technical uh, rehearsal. They also have snacks here, so if you want to get like swamp snacks, they got pretzels, hot dog, popsicles. And then Greek Shrek here, but you have to join this lengthy line to meet him. Um, let's see what else they have. They also have a splash pad for the kids um, on this side, but they can jump and get wet. So as we are walking around the land, um, Ba was pointing out the name of this playground for the kids. So it's called Shrek Swamps for Little Ogres. <laughs> and then they also have a store if you want to buy merch called the High Five Hideaway. And they have a troller coaster over here, which I'm hoping to ride today. So we'll see. And they got Poppy's Playground. And then if you want some sweet treats or drinks, they have the Troll Street a show called uh, DreamWorks Imagine a Celebration. Next show is at 2.30. Can you all help my friend find his imagination again? Uh, <laughs> Are you all ready to play and have a good time today? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hey! 
some AC because you know the summer heat here in Florida can be pretty hot but now we're gonna go ride the troller coaster and then after that we're gonna head over to Troll Street to get some ice cream we got very lucky that when we was walking into the line it said 10 minutes because they just reopened I guess they closed down while we were in the show which was lucky for us because we didn't have to wait long um, I thought it was a really cool cool coaster. I know it's like mainly for kids, but I'm like a big kid myself. And it was fun. Um, now, we're gonna go get some treats right next door. This is a look at the troll treats, um, these other beverages. But we came here to get the ice cream, so I'm waiting for a little menu to change. So I can show you. So there's two different flavors they have. Um, they got the blue one and the red one, uh, pink one, I meant. And this is the one I'm gonna get. I know it's kinda hard to see the screen, the pink lemonade served with flower sprinkles. Okay, so we got two of the flavors. Bao got the blue one, and then I got the pink um, raspberry lemonade. And it has these little, uh, I guess, like sprinkles, I call them. Um, you get it from here at the Troll Street. Did they give you a pass or discount? Okay, so it's cool. If you have an animal pass for Universal, they do give you uh, discounts here, so that's nice. Okay guys, so just got back from Universal and the food hall. So let's talk about the food hall first. So I like the fact that it was free parking and there was lots of parking. And um, I like how open the place is. Like they had outdoor seating, indoor seating, everything was clean. But when it came to the foods itself, it was okay. I mean, like Bao thought the Indian food in London was actually better than here. But he still was craving Indian food. And then the steak and fries I had was, I don't know, it was alright. But it was nice to try something new. But when I went to the bar, I enjoyed how the bartender, um, Gabriel, was super nice. He was talkative, helpful, even took a picture for us. like, And he was saying that, because Bao was like, looking at the price, he's like, oh, this is reasonable prices for bar for bar drinks. And he's like, it's because it's new, they're trying to bring more people in. But he said, you come back a couple months, the prices are going to jack off. So, to keep that in mind when you come in, it will not, not be the same. Because like my cocktail, my mojito was about 12. So, it'll be a couple dollars more if you come back a couple months later. So, I don't want you guys coming at me saying, Liz said that the mojito or whatever drink was $12. So, just know the prices will go up in a couple months. Um... The same goes with the food. They do text you as soon as the food is ready. So like once you order, you can just sit down. There's a lot, like I said, there's lots of seating everywhere. I like the fact they have a little outlets. You can charge your phone. Even by the bar, I like the fact, I didn't show it off in the video, but they had this little clip so you can put your purse or bags on there. So it was really nice. It's a little nice concept, but I just wish the food was a little bit better. Um, in case you guys are wondering about the prices for the food. So it was like about $15 each meal um so then we went to uh, universal after and i was so glad like it's open for everyone now for technical rehearsal so it was cool to be able to just walk in without reservation and got to watch the show, show which i really liked and uh um if you're going to go get the trolls treat i suggest and recommend you get the pink one versus the blue one the pink one was a better ice cream flavor in my opinion versus the blue one. You can try to try both, but I like the pink one more. Um, and then we were so lucky to go into the troller coaster when they reopened because like there was literally no wait. Seven to ten minutes, we didn't really really wait. Um, it was just like the riding the Woody Woodpecker except different theme in the troll theme. So, but it was a cute little ride. Um, but I was glad I was able to do everything I wanted. It was just a really hot day, so I didn't want to stay too long at Universal. But I was glad I was able to do everything I wanted to, to do. So if you guys enjoyed this day with the food haul and then Universal, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.